And welcome back, our dear viewers. Indeed, a very alarming situation in the Gaza Strip with a humanitarian uh, deteriorating situation and the continuous bombardment uh, with uh, the uh, visit by uh, the UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres to the Rafah border crossing. To shed more uh, light on the scene in Gaza, we are very much delighted to be joined over the phone by Mr. Ramzi Khouri, our Jordanian journalist. Good afternoon to you, sir. Uh, hello. Hello, sir. Uh, sir, uh, indeed, a uh, long uh, uh, time of uh, terrorist uh, genocide against the uh, Palestinians and uh, the uh, uh, veto on the UN resolutions. How do you see the scene after uh, all uh, these days of uh, fighting against the uh, civilians in the Gaza Strip? I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, the connection is not very good. I can't hear the question, ma'am. Can, can you repeat the question? Indeed. How do you see the scene here after uh, the continuous bombardment by uh, the Israeli against the civilians in the Gaza Strip with the current visit by uh, Guterres to, to the Rafah boarding crossing? How do you see this visit, sir? Um, yeah, absolutely. The massacres are ongoing on a daily basis. Uh, all over Gaza. There isn't a safe place in Gaza. Yes. Um, and uh, 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 pushing the Palestinians all the way down to the south was the plan mm. in order to displace them of their land and move them into the Sinai. Yes. Uh, that didn't work. Yes. Uh, but, but on the other hand, uh, we also see that the Israeli government led by Benjamin Netanyahu is not planning on uh, stopping the war. Uh, uh, they are possibly willing to, to reach a, a, a short ceasefire mm. in order to get some uh, of the, of the uh, prisoners uh, uh, back with their families in order to, to calm down the Israeli mm. streets. But then he wants to go back to war and, uh, and all of the uh, international community that is uh, demanding mm. that such uh, an attack on Rafah uh, does not happen, uh, it doesn't seem to dissuade the uh, Benjamin Netanyahu and this government. Yes, indeed. Uh, sir, also the United Nations Security Council turned down again a resolution calling for an immediate ceasefire in Gaza and an Israeli Hamas hostage deal after Russia and China vetoed the measure proposed by the United States. How do you see this uh, veto, sir? Um, uh, the, veto, the veto was uh, was uh, positive. Even Algeria voted yes. against the resolution. Yes. Yes. The resolution that was submitted by the United States yes. uh, th does not stop Israel from invading Rafah. Yes. And it does not stop Israel from continuing the war. Yeah. So basically, it's a resolution that was uh, created in order to be vetoed. Yes. The Algerians that are representing the uh, Arab bloc uh, in, the, in the UN. Uh, uh, voted against it because of that. Yes. Today there will be another resolution submitted uh, yes. before the Security Council, yes. and uh, and the resolution today is submitted by uh, the countries that are not members of the Security, Security. Council. Yes. And and uh, let us see what's going to happen to that. But uh, but, mm. but with all honesty, um, I personally feel that the Americans knew that, the veto, that, the, that it will be vetoed. Yes. Um, possibly the Americans are going to go ahead and veto the resolution that will be submitted today. Mm. Yes. Uh, so with was all these uh, problems and vetoes in the Security Council and the continuous bombardments against the civilians. How do you see the way out? How do you see the solution? Uh, for the current crisis in the Gaza Strip in its 169th day? What is going on right now is uh, the USA is still giving Israel cover. Uh, despite the fact that they have changed their language, hmm. uh, despite the fact that they have decided to turn to some kind of a PR campaign, yes. uh, if you look at all of the statements that are coming out of the United States every time, they are asked about the permanent ceasefire. They start talking about mm. a two-state solution, yes. um, <laughs> which can never uh, uh, happen uh, when Israel refuses to have a two-state solution or even a mm. process to get there. Yes. And what we are and we are we are seeing the same from the United States. Mm. 
mm. despite the different language. So there is a new language, but the same action. And it's not language and PR that counts. What counts mm. is action. So mm -hmm. the United States is totally committed to continuing sup uh, supplying the uh, arms and uh, ammunition mm. to Israel so that mm -hmm. Israel can continue its war. Yes. The United States comes out and uh, uh, continues to adopt uh, the Israeli uh, uh, goals of the war, uh, and uh, uh, at the same time, uh, they demand that Israel does not uh, kill civilians. Uh, Israel is more careful in targeting. Israel has not stopped killing civilians. Yes. On a daily basis, we have several massacres that uh, occur mm -hmm. on the ground. Yes. Uh, and uh, the numbers have become ridiculously high. They are the highest numbers of any war in, in, during this period of time. We are now in our six months. Mm. Uh, the United States, uh, every demand that the United States has made of Israel, uh, and every declaration, Israel has, not, has totally ignored. Mm. An example of this, uh, the Americans were really adamant about uh, a ceasefire during the holy month of Ramadan. Yes. Um, and uh, what Israel did is they uh, continued uh, they are playing games at the negotiation table. Yes. They don't want to see fire. And we are now in the middle of Ramadan, and every day of Ramadan we witness massacres in yes. Gaza, and we also witness heightened attacks in the West Bank. Yes, unfortunately, a very uh, alarming and sad the situation. Hope we uh, find a solution for this very uh, dramatic situation uh, for the people in the uh, Gaza Strip. Uh, sir, thank you so much, Mr. Ramzi Khouri, our Jordanian journalist. Thank you so much for being our guest and for your precious input.